welcome to Travel in Style from Ferney Voltaire in France. First, we would like to wish a warm welcome to all our new subscribers who have recently joined the Travel in Style family. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that way you'll get notified of our next destination. In this channel, we film cities, luxury hotels, boutique hotels, wellness and spa, and whatever we find interesting to see or do in the different cities. Today, we will not be filming the city of Ferney Voltaire since we have done that in the past and we will link it in the description box below. But we're going to be filming in two parts the castle of French writer and philosopher Voltaire. I know many of you know who Voltaire is, but for those who don't, I will try to give you a bit of a glimpse on who he was. Francois-Marie Arouet, whose pen name was Monsieur de Voltaire, was a French Enlightenment writer and philosopher, as well as a historian. He was known for his wit and was a great advocate of freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and also uh, the separation of state and church. So we we're very happy to be here today as Ferney Voltaire is a truly a cute little French town. If you haven't seen the video of Ferney Voltaire, we will link it in the description box below and that way you can check it out. And uh, today we are going to be focusing on Voltaire, where he lived and uh, talk about him a little bit as he was considered one of the greatest writers in French literature. Among his works, you have Lettres Philosophique, dated 1734, and his novel called Candide, dating 1759. He also wrote a number of essays on government and society. We are now heading to the chateau, the castle of Voltaire. So as I said, we will uh, film the castle in two parts. The first part will be outside and uh, the park. The second part will be inside the castle. And that way you'll have a very good feel of uh, where Voltaire spent his last 20 years. I know many of you have uh, requested this video uh, when we have filmed the Ferney Voltaire video. And we're lucky to be filming that today because it's a sunny day, although Autumn has started and we are in the month of October. However, we're very, very lucky with the weather today. So I'm sure you'll be very interested to discover the Voltaire Castle. So stay tuned till the end and keep discovering. Have you ever been to Ferney Voltaire? If you have, please let us know in the comments what you thought of it and uh, what you liked about it. 
We would love to know. We can see that we are approaching the castle, the chateau. This is so cute. As I mentioned, the castle is located in the city of Ferney Voltaire. And Ferney Voltaire is a city in France which is close to the border of uh, Switzerland and uh, quite close to uh, the city of Geneva in Switzerland. So from Geneva to uh, Ferney Voltaire, it's uh, roughly uh, 30 minutes by car so if ever you're in Geneva or in Ferney Voltaire then visiting the castle of writer and philosopher Voltaire uh, is a good thing to do and of course it's uh, better to do it in summer or when it's a sunny day because it's uh, highly enjoyable we have mentioned geneva so if you're interested to find out about Geneva. We have filmed several videos about Geneva on the Travel and Style channel. But today we are focusing on Ferney Voltaire and the castle of French writer and philosopher Monsieur de Voltaire, as he was referred to. So we are now heading to the castle and as you can see it's from this way so stay tuned and uh, keep discovering this is a really cute little uh, alley but uh, apparently there's also a cemetery uh, here so both the cemetery and the castle are this way So when you go to the chateau, um, beware there's a big uh, hike ahead. So if you like hiking and uh, walking and some physical activity, then this is absolutely ideal. It's quite steep though.
so it's a really nice stroll guaranteed from the center of Fernet Voltaire to uh, the castle. And of course the nature all around is so beautiful. So we have uh, almost arrived to the castle. Take a look at how beautiful this is. A really nice walk. And this is the castle. So we will take a look from here. really beautiful anyway we will go around and uh, enter from the other way we will now go in the castle and uh, share the castle from outside and the park which we will talk a little bit about and uh, next week we will show you inside the castle so stay tuned for that as I'm sure you'll uh, really enjoy it but today we're going to be uh, spending a bit of time talking about the park and seeing the castle from outside. So there it is. Here we have the picture of Monsieur de Voltaire. And this is the home where he spent his last 20 years. So here it says Voltaire purchased the Chateau de Fernay in 1758 and spent the last 20 years of his life there to welcome the many visitors who flocked to see him from all over Europe. He commissioned the architect Leonard Rackel to extend the chateau. From his remote retreat, Voltaire railed against the injustice of society and defended the victims of political and religious intolerance. He worked intensively on his writings, publishing, among others, the Philosophical Dictionary, the Treatise on Intolerance, and several tragedies and plays. So we are now inside the park of the castle. This castle was built in 1758. And this is where Voltaire has spent his uh, last 20 years. So we're going to walk around it a little bit and then we will end the video. This park is uh, very big. This is where uh, Voltaire spent his last 20 years from 1761 to 1778 when he died. And this castle was listed as a historical monument in 1958. The park estate is very big, seven hectares.
which has allowed Voltaire to develop several beautiful spaces that we will uh, uh, visit just now. He spent a lot of time in the park, planting and gardening and walking, of course. There's a, a lot of uh, space to do that. This is a really nice retreat. The several spaces he created in the park allowed him to be inspired as well as organize his thoughts. And he has several terraces as well. This is why we decided to uh, film in two parts because we couldn't fit everything in one video as there's so much to see as much outside as inside. As you can see, he had several terraces and spaces. And a fabulous view as well, because take a look at this. How beautiful is that? You have the greenery, you have the mountains. I'm sure this was uh, very practical for him as he was in a very, very nice uh, city and very close to Switzerland as well. And this quickly became uh, a meeting place for many great minds of the Enlightenment. Such beautiful gardens. Really nice. And this is uh, one side of the castle from outside as well. You can see the little terrace, terraces on each floor. So it's very nice. And uh, we will go check out the view. another little space so as I said at the beginning he had several spaces in the park where he could sit and be inspired by this beautiful nature and mountains and amazing scenery And here you have a little uh, path, really, really nice. Look how cute this is. This is to go into the wider garden, I suppose. So there it is, we will soon be ending the first part of this Voltaire castle.
we will now go up here and see the rest of the park and end the video. This is the castle from behind. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe by hitting the travel and style icon on the left of the screen or the little red button on the bottom right of the screen and that way you'll get notified of our next destination. So stay tuned. Travel and style is signing off. Bye-bye.